What's up everyone, my name is Nigark, and welcome back to Blast Assist Little Adventure, whatever you want to call it in Extreme TK. I'm starting out actually in a different spot than normal because, let me see, I want to get some gear ready for when I level up, which will be these Blessed Vestments, which is 9,000 coins, so it's pretty expensive. And I found this Crypt Slayer, and I think I'm going to hold on to it for level 40. I'm not sure how good it is for mages, but... It's better than my little dinky stuff right now. Um, is there anything? Oh, there is actually a level 35 mage item here. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick up this level 35. What is it? 45? You can look at the different damages. See, 55 to 75 and 45 to 70. So this one has more damage. I don't know if that really affects much for mages. And the Crypt Slayer has some vitality increase, where this has mana increase, which is very important for mages. So I'm going to pick up that wand for level 35. Alright, and now I actually have a couple of spells. I'm going to leave this Crypt Slayer for anyone that may need it. There may be other people in the game that need it. It doesn't really sell for anything. So leaving it around for someone might help someone, it might not. But I do have two more spells that I actually need to pick up. And those spells are Thunderbolt, which is a better targetable spell. This one costs a thousand coins. And Seal Wounds, which is a better version of Mend, also costs a thousand coins. So remember how I had 20,000 coins? It's all gone. It's all gone already. So when I said pick up items and check them out and see if, like, see, there's a pack of cigarettes right there. I just yoinked those up. I may as well, because th these items may be beneficial to me at some point. I can drop them later if they prove not to be. Like all of this rat meat that I have. Oh, did he pick up the Crypt Slayer? He, m he may have picked up that Crypt Slayer. I'm actually going to go check. Did he? Yeah, he did. He picked up the Crypt Slayer and he's using it. That, uh, I couldn't have scripted that. Just saying. Could not have planned that. <laughs> wow. Um... Yeah, like, there's some items that are proving to be a bit of a waste, so like my rat meat, my... Just a couple of things in here that really aren't useful and are just clogging up my inventory. Alright, so we got a better version of our zap spell. We got some gear ready for level 35. And now we have a quest to do, which is kill 30 of those skeletal magicians. As well as seeing if I can get that shield again. So I'm gonna hop in and try to do that. Oh, okay, it looks like someone killed the boss and left the shield behind, so, I mean, it wasn't cursed, so they left it there for long enough for me to be able to take it. Otherwise, if it was cursed, if it was to ramen, I would have just asked them if they could give it to me, because when you're a higher level, there's really no use for it. So I could use the shield. It does have some stats on it. It has negative 3 armor and 150 vitality, so I may actually use it instead of turning it in for that quest for a while. But I still have to get further in to kill the red skeletons, the skeleton magicians, so I'm going to hop on further in for that. Okay, and this is the room that has the skeletal magicians. It's going to take you a few spawns to get all of these. They, there's not a lot that spawn in here, but like I was saying in the previous video, there's a lot of gold in here. People will leave it behind no matter where they are. So this is a good place to start getting back some of that money that we spent on all of that equipment and those spells.
Alright, so you may have noticed that I grouped with ramen here. Basically, they are a player that is going... They are a subbed player, which means that they went to level 99 already, and they decided to pick another class to go with their class that they reached level 99 with, because that's an option you have. You either go pure, which means that you stay to the class that you have, or you sub and be another class. So you could be like a mage rogue, or a rogue warrior, or whatever you want. So it appears that they went poet rogue, and so they are using level 99 gear, but they are leveling up from level 1 to 99 again. So they're using very powerful gear to level up again. It just makes the process faster. And they offered to help me out in here because they also have to do the quest, and it, it would be silly for us to fight for the monsters. So I'm going to be using the help of ramen during this section. Uh, they offered to help me level up very fast with doing all of the future quests and killing more powerful things that I wouldn't be able to kill myself. I'm not going to do that for the sake of the series integrity, but for this one little section of the quest, just because I don't want to have to fight for the monsters, I'm going to accept Ramen's help. Alright, this looks like this is our last skeletal magician. I'll tell Ramen that I'm all done, and thank you for your help. And I'm gonna go turn in my quest. And ungroup Ramen. Oh. Ramen ungrouped from us. I was just explaining that, you know, I wasn't trying to be mean. I just didn't want help with, you know, leveling up because of the series and you know, the integrity of the series. But now we're level 35, so I'm going to pick up this next quest, which is for Skeletal Warriors, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to East Gurry and go into the arena because I would like to see what kind of difference my weapon is going to make. So I have damage numbers, but these test dummies will also say how much damage they take. So my zap right now is doing 64 damage. 64, 64, 64. It's always 64. If I put on this wand, it's doing 65 damage. So my damage does go up a little bit. It may just be from the will increase though. I don't know if the 40, 75 matters for anything but swinging on things. I don't think it does. So if I'm not swinging, it doesn't matter. But there is one more thing that I would like to get started on and that is the Takori quest. It's something I've never done, and someone actually mentioned it to me saying, why haven't you started it? Largely because I've never done it. I just didn't know that it really even existed. So you come here, you go to South Korea and down and to the right, and we talk to this guy. Please explore the first path into the field and slay, 20, slay 25 small flowerlings. This should be really easy and really fast because of how strong I am now, but this is the first path. These things don't give a lot of experience. Let's see, how much do you give? 113, that's actually a good amount of experience for that one. But there's different, um... There's different, dif <laughs> different, 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 different... There's different types of monsters in here, and they all drop some items. I don't think the items are super important. I think you can sell them somewhere, but I'll be entirely honest, I have no idea where, so I'm not going to pick them up and bother with it. Uh, largely because I'm just going to be making money in the crypt. And you may have noticed, I, I did get actually about 20k back from doing the crypt stuff. So, I'm going to be doing this quest all the way up. I believe it's like the crypt quest where it progresses as you level up. So, it's definitely something you should watch out for. I believe the reward at the end is a, um, a necklace. A necklace for level 90, so it's definitely something worth doing. So I'm gonna spend some time killing these small flowerlings and a bunch of stuff in here, and then I will wrap up after this. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like there's enough stuff here for me to finish up all of the small flowerlings. I believe it was 25 that I had to kill. I'm gonna kill 26. I'm just gonna go to South Gurry and go back to the guy and get my reward. I believe it's just gonna be some experience. Yes, small flowerling. Excellent, you have learned much. 675 experience and roses are red. When you were chopping down some of those flowerlings, you didn't happen to gather any roses for me. Bring me ten of them. Oh, drat. I have to go back and do that. Anyways, my name is Nagark. This seems like a good place to wrap it up. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you want to keep checking out Blastosis Little Adventure to 99, you can click the card in the top right. And thank you for watching.